happy Veterans F It Friday. It's Veterans Day and it's Friday. <clears throat> Friday, the end of a grueling week, an absolutely grueling week for me anyway. Um, first and foremost, before I get into this any further, I want to thank everybody out there, friends and family alike that have served in this nation's uh, military services. Thank you for your service to this country. Um, without you all, we wouldn't be here. And that is just a fact. So thank you. Happy Veterans Day. Let's do a beer review, shall we? And I think this is quite fitting. It's in a bottle, first and foremost, with a cap on it that says the Dean's List. Boom. Right there it is. Stewart's Gold. What a great label this is. So, this is brewed by the Dean's List. Stewart's Gold. It's a 5.8% ABV, which is a very drinkable beer. And it's a gold nail. It says on here, it's got a great picture of his friend Stuart right there. That's cool. A delicious golden ale to celebrate my friend's 50th year circling the sun. This golden ale uses US 05 dry yeast, a simple malt bill, and features galaxy and citra for very subtle hop notes. Here's to 50 more. Happy birthday. So this is really cool. I love the artwork, um, the, the, the British flag on there, which is really cool. Um, the, the shield, I uh, don't know, e don't know what that says on the shield, but that is cool. And of course the picture of Stuart. And I remember seeing Stuart in some of uh, uh, Colonel Dean's videos. I believe. So, and just so you know, <clears throat> when I think of Mike Dean, he is the epitome of the American soldier. And I just say that. And I mean that with a whole heart feel. When I think of G.I. Joe, <clears throat> it's Mike Dean. It really is. There is not a better American out there on this planet. So, Let's open this bad boy up. The old brew tubers bottle opener that's fading <clears throat> from use. Nice smoke. I'm very dry, as you can tell from my voice. Now, this is probably keg condition. So, yeah, we're going all in. There is there is nothing on the bottom of that bottle. Last look at a very, very cool label. I'm going to set you right there. Let's take a look at that beer. That is a beautiful gold nail. <clears throat> and that poured very nicely. Uh, about <clears throat> a quarter of a, of a finger from this meat hook anyway. But I did pour it very gently. Um, some good carbonation coming up from the bottom of the glass. Nice, clean beer. I can see up through it which is nice. Uh, a little bit of chill haze, but that's to be expected. Uh, beautiful looking beer. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, you can see how nice that is. Look at that. You can see clean up through the bottom of the glass. That's the mark of a good beer. <clears throat> I'm getting some sweet notes. Uh, nothing out of nothing, nothing crazy. Mostly malt. Yeah, nice smalt, smalt. <laughs> nice, uh, smooth, malty nose. Um, I was watching a beer. I was watching a beer review. It was this week one day. Who the heck was it from? Who the heck was it from? 
they used a descriptor. Now, it, it's not a descriptor that I would use with this beer, but <clears throat> it was a cool descriptor, and they were saying it smelled like antique wood. And I thought that was a cool descriptor of a of aroma of a beer. So, cheers to you, Mr. Dean. Cheers to you, Stuart. Let's dive in. That is nice. Oh, Galaxy and Citra. That is really nice. That is a gold nail. There's, <clears throat> there's nothing crazy. It's not an IPA. Um, gold nails to me are more, um, lager ish just the way i you know i i i think of them they're an easy drinking beer they are a <laughs> after after a day's work coming home and enjoying a beer beer golden ales are just great beers and i think every home brewer um should have a golden nail on top on top on tap at their in, in their in their brewery um I currently do not have a gold nail, and I may have to remedy that after this. Very nice, subtle. And he's right, they're very subtle hints of, uh, of citrus, and um, the galaxy's giving it just a little bit of I'm getting a fruity note in there, which works really well with the malt bill. Um, it has like, I don't know what the malt bill is, but it has just enough malt and body like on the lower side to allow that little bit of citra and galaxy to shine through i mean this beer really actually shows what galaxy and citra does to a beer you're getting a little bit of that you know grapefruit but it's just a citrusy just a a, a, a little bit and then the, the beginning of it is actually kind of like melon um so a little bit of melon and um citrus which is super sweet super nice with a very very nice malty base a little bit of biscuit in there um medium to light mouthfeel super easy beer to drink light Nice. I could drink a bunch of these. I could really hammer back a bunch of these. This is really nice. Mm. Well done, brother. Well done indeed. Well done. And I am super glad that I decided to uh, drink this beer on this Veterans Day. So there you have it, folks. Hope you enjoyed this little beer review. Of uh, the Dean's List, Stewart's Gold. Right there you have it. Thank you again to all the veterans out there, family and friends. Uh, without you, we would not be America. <sighs> nice burp. Happy burp. Enjoy the fruits of your labor, folks. Brew beer. Brew wonderful beer like this right here. That is a dandy. Empty glass time. Cheers.